Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can improve battery life on Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6. There are several things that you can do in order to extend the battery life and keep the battery in a healthier state for longer. So we're gonna start by going to connections in the settings and over here we want to go to more connections. First of all, you might want to disable new by device scanning as it is not recommended to always use it, but only when necessary. And of course, the same goes with other services, like for instance, even the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth or even NFC. Those options can be, of course, disabled for normal usage of the device until we really need to connect to something. So if you are not at home and you don't have Wi-Fi, then you might just want to turn it off as it uses the battery in order to keep the functionality enabled. And the same, of course, goes with Bluetooth. You should only use it. It should be only enabled when you are trying to connect to a Bluetooth device and if you want to use a Bluetooth device at a certain moment. And of course the same goes with NFC as I mentioned. The same goes with location. So in the settings we can we can scroll down and go to location and over here we can enable and disable the location. Of course some apps require the location to be enabled for instance like Google Maps or something and naturally in that case, when you use Google Maps, then you want to enable location. And the same goes with any other feature. So with the Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, it is the same way. You might want to enable them in certain situations. And the same, of course, goes with location. We also have location services where we can make sure that Wi-Fi scanning and Bluetooth scanning is disabled and only, once again, enabled when necessary. Now I have to go back to connections because I forgot to mention the mobile network. So if you go to mobile networks, you might want to, for instance, disable the data roaming. Remember that if you use all networks that it also uses a little bit more battery. And we can also go to SIM manager over here. Oops, let's go here. And here we have the mobile data, which also can be just disabled when you don't use mobile data. So if you are at home and you use Wi-Fi, you don't really need to use mobile data. And on the other hand, if you are outside and you want to be still connected to the internet, you can still use mobile data, but turn off Wi-Fi on the other hand. One of the uh, features that uses most of the battery is always on display. So if you don't use always on display that often, if you don't care about it, then it is recommended to turn it off in order to save some battery. And finally, of course, we want to go to the battery settings as well. And you might want to use power saving in certain situations, or you can even tap these three dots in the top right corner and then go to adaptive power saving in order to use it. So then the device will learn some patterns of usage of your device and then auto automatically turn on and off the power saving option. And of course, you can also still enable this option manually. If you want to, you can just press this over here, the, the slider, in order to turn on or off the power saving option. Now, in addition to that, we also have the battery protection, which is also recommended to have enabled. You can go over here in order to read more. So we have a basic protection when your battery is charged to 100%, the char charging will stop until the battery level drops down to 95% and then charging will start again. We also have adaptive, which uses something between basic and maximum, or it switches from time to time between those two. And maximum is of course, um, the battery will stop charging when it reaches 80%. So this is also pretty useful. And we also have charging settings where we have the fast charging and fast wireless charging as well. Some people say that fast charging uses the battery more over time, so if you, Thing like that as well then of course you can disable fast charging and the same goes with fast wireless wireless charging so this is pretty much it these are main things that you can do in order to save the battery and of course you can also cannot forget about the background apps so from time to time open the background apps and close everything in order to not allow an app to run in the background all the time if you don't use it so thanks for watching leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos bye